I'm gonna show you how to automate your Upwork lead generation and split test proposals and get notifications when there's a job that matches your specifications to get very, very precise on these specifications. Now, what does this allow you to do? It allows you to split test proposal messages. So you can send 100 proposals with one, 100 proposals with other, and actually see the stats on which one is getting the most responses and most jobs won, most profit for you. You also can get notifications on your phone or via email. Right, when there's a job that matches your exact specifications and you can get very, very, very hyper-targeted, even more targeted than Upwork searches allow you to. So these notifications allow you to respond very, very quickly. I have a client who does probably tens of thousands of dollars in Upwork lead generation for his clients and he tries to respond within an hour every time. Right? This is gonna send you the phone notifications for you to do that. And then the other cool thing you would do with this, and I'll show you how to do this, is create a bunch of very, very niche saved searches and see which one of those saved searches and like search all of them automatically while you're asleep, right? So that you can see which of the searches is leading to the most jobs that are actually a fit for you and which ones are actually irrelevant and actually see the stats. So this uses Airtable, you can use the same thing with Google Sheets or whatever, and it uses Make, which is a very low cost and very powerful Zapier alternative. So there are a few steps. I'm gonna go over all the steps for you. So the first step is in Upwork. You're gonna do a search for whatever job parameters you want, right? You can do advanced search stuff and do whatever. Presumably you already have the search terms that you know lead to jobs that you are a good fit for. So the first step is here. The second step you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this, I don't know, Wi-Fi looking thing and click on RSS, right? When you click on RSS, it's gonna bring up this gibberish. This is really cool. RSS is uh, really simple syndication. It is a, an internet technology that's been around since like the 90s. And you're gonna copy this link. You're gonna make a list of all these links. Copy the links again and again and again. And you're gonna paste them into, I like Airtable. You can use the free Airtable plan for this. Airtable.com. You're gonna paste them into an Airtable table, which also has the, where is like, okay, you're also gonna have the last checked date somewhere in Airtable. You have to store this last checked date so that you can tell the RSS feed, hey, like give me everything from now until, you know, from, from the last time I checked it until now, right? That is the second step. The third step, is you're gonna make an automation like this. Let me explain each part of this automation so you get it, right? The first step of the automation is to run an Airtable search on your RSS feeds, right? That's gonna to return to you a list of a bunch of RSS links that you just stored from Airtable or uh, from Upwork. The next step is you're gonna do an RSS retrieval on the link. So you're gonna do this RSS, it's gonna, depending on how often you wanna check this, you may get no items, right? But you have to check every time. You're gonna get this output here. It looks like this, right? Then when there's a new uh, item searched for, you're gonna get all this information. So you get the title from Upwork, you get the description, you get the budget, all this stuff that you get, right? Now, the next step is the really, really cool part you have to do a couple things. So you have to search in, you have to make a table in air table that's you're gonna store the jobs, but you have to search that table to make sure that the job that you just found is not already there. And the reason why you have to do that is because some searches will return the exact same jobs. You don't want a bunch of duplicates. So that's the next step. You're gonna make sure it's new. If it's, if it's new, then Here's where you can get really custom and like very, very uh, specific and like be really creative with your application. So I've done this work with clients before where they have very niche qualifications. So uh, we can extract the job title, right? So here uh, it puts Upwork here. We just strip out the Upwork. And then we have, you can do auto qualification or auto disqualification based on very narrow search parameters. So you can run what's called a regular expression, which is a search text um, uh, thing, 
where you can do like really, really uh, incredible stuff. So this client specifically, he's a copywriter and he does very high ticket copy. He's worked for Microsoft. He's worked for some of like the biggest influencers ever, but he's not gonna do like a $10 email copy. It doesn't make sense. So he has some keywords where he knows the people that are perfect for him use these keywords in the title and in the description. So for you, you have your own search parameters, which may be even more specific than what Upwork allows you to. And so you can run some extra checks to either auto disqualify or auto qualify, right? That, that's more refined or another layer based on Upwork. In this case, what we're doing for this client is we're storing the jobs in Upwork that are qualified, marking them as qualified. We're storing the jobs in Upwork that are auto disqualified and marking them as auto disqualified, storing the word that we found that auto disqualified. What you could also do, depending on your volume, is you can add an email notification to you or a phone notification to say, hey, we found a job that's perfect for you. Go check it out right now, right? And that way, you don't have to waste your time checking Upwork and rechecking Upwork. You can just look at a notification on your phone and say, hey, there's a job that, that somebody just posted and you could be one of the first people to, to respond to that job and send a proposal for that job, which, According to my client who has an Upwork agency, if, you, if you're one of the first people, you have a much, much, much higher chance of winning that job. So that is how you design an Upwork custom, a custom Upwork lead generation automation for your business. It's these steps, right? I'm gonna share this document here, which is exactly what I walked through in the description below this video so you can check it out. And if you want me to build this for you, if you want me to build this for you, Ryan at scalewithbliss.com or at armhildebrandt on Twitter. Ah, oh, jeez. Twitter you can DM me there and I will build something like this for you. So there's some really cool use cases. Again, I mentioned this before, but what you can use this for is A-B testing proposal messages. You can have tons and tons and tons of very, very, very niche searches to see which one performs the best and actually track in Airtable. Like, hey, this one, we disqualified almost all of these. We, we're, we're winning almost all of these that come through this proposal, this, this search. Right? Or you can do notifications so that you don't have to waste your time refreshing Upwork all day long and you can respond, respond fast. Don't, you know, don't waste time refreshing Upwork. Upwork and make major cash. So I hope that helps you guys. Hit me up on email or on Twitter if you would like me to build something like this custom for your niche, for the exact keywords that you search for, get you notifications for Upwork so you can make more money without wasting time refreshing Upwork all day. That's all for today. Peace.